Hey guys, Miss Kuiper here. Today we're going to read The Day the Crayons Quit, um, and the next time I'll read The Day the Crayons Came Home. This is written by Drew DeWalt and illustrated by Oliver Jeffers. It's um, a popular book for many of you. It's one of my favorites too, so I hope you enjoy it. The Day the Crayons Quit. <clears throat> One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. Hey, Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of the other crayons. All year long, I wear myself out coloring fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else that's red. I even work on holidays. I have to color all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your overworked friend, Red Crayon. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crayon for grape dregs and wizard hats, but it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the lines soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I'm neither. I am beige and I am proud. I am also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crayon. It's not fair that Brown gets all the bear, bears, ponies, and puppies. All the only things I get are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky, and wheat. And let's be honest, When's the last time a kid was excited about coloring wheat? Your beige friend, Beige Crayon. Duncan, Gray Crayon here. You're killing me. I know you love elephants, and I know that elephants are gray, but that's a lot of space to color in all by myself. And don't even get me started on your rhinos, hippos, and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling one of those things? Such big animals. Baby penguins are gray, you know, and so are tiny rocks, pebbles. How about coloring one of those once in a while to give me a break? Your very tired friend, Gray Crayon. Dear Duncan, you color with me, but why? Most of the time, I'm the same color as the page you're coloring on, white. If I didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know that I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to color snow or to fill an empty space between other things. And it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, White Crayon. Hi, Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outlines of things. Things that are colored in with other colors. All of which think they're brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill in the colors of the ball with all the other crayons. How about a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, Black Crayon. Dear Duncan, as Green Crayon, I'm writing for two reasons. One, to say that I like my workloads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problems with it and would like to congratulate you on a very successful coloring things green career so far. The second reason I write is for my friends, yellow crayon and orange crayon, who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel that they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, green crayon. Dear Duncan, yellow here, I need your I need you to tell Orange Crayon that I'm the color of the sun. I would tell him, but we're no longer speaking to each other. And I could prove that I'm the color of the sun. Last Tuesday, you used me to color in the sun on your heart, Happy Farm coloring book. In case you've forgotten, I'm on page seven. You can't miss me. I'm shining out brilliantly on the field of yellow corn. Your pal and the true color of the sun, Yellow Crayon. Dear Duncan, I see that yellow crayon already talked to you, the big whiner. Anyway, could you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the color of the sun? I would, but we're no longer speaking. We both know I'm clearly the color of the sun because on Thursday, you used me to color in the sun on both your Monkey Island and Meet the Zookeeper pages and your Day at the Zoo coloring book. 
Aren't you glad I'm here? Ha! Your pal and the real color of the sun, orange crayon. Dear Duncan, it's been great being your favorite crayon this past year and the year before and the year before that. I've really enjoyed all the oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds, and clear skies. But the bad news is that I'm so short and stubby I can't even see over the railing in the crayon box anymore. I need a break. Your very stubborn, stubby friend, Blue Crayon. Duncan, okay, listen here, kid. You have not used me once in the past year. It's because you think I'm a girl's color, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister I said thank you for using me in her little princess coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job at staying inside the lines. Now back to us. Could you please use me sometime to color in the occasional pink dinosaur, a monster, or cowboy? Goodness knows they could use a splash of color. Your unused friend, Pink Crayon. Hey, Duncan, it's me, Peach Crayon. Why did you peel off my pa pa paper wrapping? Now I'm naked and too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have any underwear. How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help! Your naked friend, Peach Crayon. Well, poor Dor Duncan just wanted a color. And of course he wanted his crayons to be happy. And that gave him an idea. If you listen to all his crayons, see there's a pink dinosaur and a black beach ball. And instead of a gray whale, it's orange. It has a purple dinosaur nicely drawn. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him an A for coloring. And an A plus for creativity. All right, guys, I hope you like that. That's the day the crayons quit. We'll read the day the crayons came home next time. Take care of yourselves.